So, one of the most confusing and annoying things that EA does with their games is this feeling of one step forward, two step back. Where they make progress in one area of the game, and then they regress in a different area of the game. Essentially cutting out something that used to be in the game that didn't bother anyone. I don't know, maybe with the plan of adding it back in the future. And I'm going to demonstrate that by showing you guys the fighter intro from UFC 4 and then compare it to the fighter intro in UFC 5. And we're going to use John Jones as an example. And we're going to look and see where EA decided to make unnecessary cuts, right? And it's I've never really understood what the point of that is. So let's take a look at the fighter intro for John Jones in, in UFC 4. All right, so it starts off with this shot of John Jones walking out, of course. And uh, next shot is gonna be of uh, John Jones getting checked. This is quite, this is quite detailed. He gets checked, you know, by by Herb Dean, by the referee, to make sure that he's got, you know, uh, he's got his mouthpiece on, he's got his his cup. He doesn't have, I don't know, long fingernails or whatever. Just make sure that he's good to go before he sends John into the uh, into the octagon, into the cage, and then he does his, you know, right here he does his pre-fight ritual where he, you know, he does the the cross sign. Then he's going to do his one-handed cartwheel. Enters the cage. He's gonna jump, and that's it, right? So after this, we get to the section where. Bruce Buffer is going to start announcing the fighters, right? And we're going to skip right over to where he announces John Jones. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 27 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed U.S. All right, so this part where the announcer gives you information about the fighter is very important because it's possible that you're not really an MMA fan and this is your very first time watching the sport, right? He gives you the fighter's name, he gives you the fighter's height, he gives you the fighter's reach, he gives you the fighter's weight, he gives you the fighter's MMA record, he gives you the fighter's fighting style, and then you also fi find out where the fighter is fighting out of. All of this is important information, especially if you're brand new to the sport. So it's, it's good to know this stuff, and it also builds that tension, like, oh, okay, this is who's fighting, okay, he's this tall, he weighs this much, he's fighting out of this, this is his fight style very interesting and you already know his opponent's fight style so you're already coming up in your head all right it's gonna be a this it, okay it's a kickboxer versus a wrestler oh wow this is gonna be very interesting and then let's keep watching the light heavyweight champion of the world john bones john And then this section right here. UFC belt online. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So, this section right here, right, is the final face-off. This is the last time you're going to see these two men face each other, size each other up. You get to see what their size looks like compared to each other what their weight looks like compared to each other, what their temperament looks like compared to each other. You might even get a glimpse on the sort of fight that we might that we're able to that we're about to get. Are these guys going to give us something super aggressive based on their posture they're in this face off? Are they going to touch gloves? Do they hate each other? You there's so much information you glee from a face off, from this last final face off. There's a very good reason why this theater all of this, there's, there's a very good reason why fighters don't just walk out, enter the cage, and start fighting. All of this is important. It sets the stage. It's like you're watching a movie. You want to know who's the character that I'm watching, what are they all about, what's the character build up, how long have they known each other, what's this guy all about. The story takes a while to build up before you get the final payoff. And that's, that's why all of this is important. So this is what it was like. In UFC 4, we saw the walkout, we saw the section where the, the, the referee checks to make sure the fighter has everything 
correct before entering the cage. He enters the cage. He does his pre-fight r- ritual. The the announcer gives you information on the fighter. The fighters do their final face-off before the ref now gives them permission to actually start fighting. Now, let's go watch this same exact walkout in UFC 5, and let's see if EA changed anything. All right, so this is the UFC 5 version of the same exact walkout. You're going to notice that EA has added something new right here, right? They've added something new to this, which is very good. Like, you know, they're extending the walkout. That's very good. We're getting this tunnel vision of the fighter, which definitely adds to that buildup. You're seeing the fighter, you know, he's getting ready to walk out. There's some nerves right there. He's shaking the nerves out. You see the camera. You see his team back there. He's ready to go, right? So this is a very is a very good addition to it, right? So let's keep watching. All right. So the fighter, it's time for him to walk out. There's John Jones. You get a glimpse of the whole entire arena. This shot right here is very interesting. You got the red. Overall, it's it's looking more pristine. It's looking better. But then you'll notice you'll notice in UFC 4 you didn't get this scene right here where the fighter dabs up his his teammates, where he gives them his final, the final, you know, kind of the final goodbye or the final thank you for being here for me before he actually walks into the cage. We got this in UFC 5. We didn't get it in UFC in UFC 4. So as you're watching this, you're thinking, this is incredible. EA is adding more to the walkout. We're getting more scenes. But then you're going to keep watching. He dabs him up. And then you're waiting. Wait, hold on. They cut something out. Something was cut out here. What was cut out? Well, the section where Herb Dean, the referee, gets to check the fighter. She gets to check, do you have your mouthpiece on? Do you have the cup on? Do you have, are your nails, cu- are you good to go before sending him in? So now you're already seeing what EA is doing right here. They've added something to the scene, but then they've removed something from the scene. Why? Right? If you're going to extend the scene, why not keep, why not keep it all? Right? Why are you cutting stuff out while adding stuff in? It just makes no sense. Right? Let's just keep watching. comes in he does his pre-fight uh, ritual he's gonna do his one-handed cartwheel enters the the cage he's gonna jump on the cage same exact way UFC 4 and uh, there we go looks looks good now let's skip to the section where the the announcer actually announces the fighters tells us who the fighters are let's skip to that section and now introducing the champion fighting out of the red corner he is the reigning defending UFC light heavyweight champion of the world John okay alright so you're like hold on a sec something's missing right here like why did they cut out this very important section right like yes I understand you could have just looked at the graphic that shows up and you'll be able to see the fighter's height. You'll be able to see the fighter's weight and you'll be able to see where the fighter is fighting out of. But what if you weren't looking? What if you weren't looking? The graphic shows up just for a short period of time. What if you're in the crowd and you're not paying attention to the graphic? You want to be able to hear the announcer, right? You want to be able to hear how tall is this guy? How much does this guy weigh? What is his fight style? Where is he fighting out of? Like, what am I about to expect out of this fighter in front of me right now? You don't get any of that information because EA has decided to cut it out. Why? Why would you do that? That's not the only thing they cut out. Let's keep watching. Wait a minute. You're like, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is going on? Where is the section where they do their final face off? Where we get to see their temperament, we get to see them look at each other one last time to get their final instructions from the referee before he gives them permission to actually start fighting. Where is that? Why? What's what? What's what's going on? Why? Okay. So let's talk about it. 
The first time that I saw this, uh, the fighter intros in UFC 5, I'll give you guys like just my whole entire thought process when it started, right? I was like, this is very, very good because we're getting more. It starts off with this, this beautiful scene right here, this tunnel, this tunnel scene. And I'm thinking in my head, wow, they are giving us more. It's going to be longer. But then as you keep watching and you're realizing they're cutting stuff out, it diminishes the new things they add. Human nature, bro, we tend to remember, we tend to remember what is bad more than we remember what is good. If you give us something good, or if you give us a few good things, and then you sprinkle in a few bad things in there, we're going to tend to remember the bad more than we remember the good, which is why the same thing that happened with this intro has carried on to the rest of the game. Has EA added some new stuff to UFC 5? Absolutely, they have. Do people care? No, people don't care because they've cut out some important stuff and then the old things left in the game that needs fixing, they haven't fixed. So why would anyone care about the new things you've added? And when we brought this to their attention, we were like, guys, it doesn't make any sense that you guys are cutting this stuff short. Like, why are you doing that? They gave us uh, two answers. The first answer was, well, a lot of players skip this anyways. We'll get to that. Second answer was, well, you know, we are confident in our decision to make these cuts. And it's just like, how do you figure that? Why would you be confident in that decision to, to, to cut stuff out? I understand that a lot of players skip this. I get it. But that's not, in my opinion, it shouldn't be what you, you're focused on when you're trying to build a game that's supposed to be an authentic representation of the sport of MMA. That is your selling point, right? Your selling point is you're creating an authentic experience. You're creating a game that represents the sport of MMA. So leave it in. The only players that play this game are not online players. A, ma a vast majority of the players that play your game are offline players. And the experience of offline players are important too. There are players out there who want to role play, players out there who want to build worlds. How are they going to enjoy your game if they're trying to role play your game and they don't have the full intro? If you're cutting stuff out just because you want to cater to online players who, yes, for sure, skip all this stuff anyways. I guarantee there are players out there who want to watch this stuff every single time. Are they not important? Do, do they not matter? You know what I mean? It's like, yes, for sure, there are more pressing issues in the game. And the fact that I'm talking about this doesn't mean that I don't recognize that there are more important things to talk about that's wrong with the gameplay and, and all that. But I think... This speaks to a bigger problem that we see with EA in general. They do this with other games. They do this all the time where they cut stuff out from the game. And then later on, they add it back as a new feature. So are we going to get UFC 6? And then a selling point to UFC 6 is, oh, guys, look, we've added the full intro. Isn't that incredible? And then you're sitting there like, didn't y'all just cut it out from UFC 5? And then now you're adding it to UFC. How's that a new feature? <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like they do that all the time. And the whole entire point of this video that I'm making right now is, Dear EA, stop cutting things out of the game that no one asked you to cut out. Things that add to the authenticity of the game. Stop cutting them out. It makes no sense. Right? If we want to skip it, let us skip it. Believe it. Because if you're going to cut stuff out from here, then who's to say you're not going to cut out old animations as opposed to adding more? As If you're making a brand new game, we need more content, not less content. We need more fight. Like, it's jarring and very annoying when you get a brand new game and fighters that were in the old game are not in the new game anymore, right? Like... It's the same thing carrying on. You cut out a little bit of the intro and you cut out some fighters from the game too. It's like you cut out some animations. You cut out some mechanics. Like if things are not working, if they're genuinely broken, either fix it or get rid of it. Understood. But we need additions to the game. Add on. Add on. We need more content, not less content. More. And I'm pretty sure everybody else is going to echo the same opinion, right? So um, I don't know 
what this means for the next version of the game and I, I i get it you know the excuse the reasoning is and you know a lot of this is not even the fault of the developers i'm pretty sure the 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 team would like to extend this i'm pretty sure it's all like you know we have this amount you know, this word resources has become kind of a meme in the community it's kind of become a joke but you know i feel like it shouldn't be that way bro like it shouldn't it shouldn't be this way where it's like oh if you guys want to if you want to get some new stuff, we're going to have to cut out some some stuff that was there that asked to the authenticity of the game that no one asked us to cut out, but we, ha we have to cut it out to give you guys some... Like, bro, like, it's just... To me, it shouldn't be that way. It really shouldn't. But I'm not going to belabor this point. This video has already gone on way longer than it's supposed to, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, let me know in the comment section if you guys, if you guys agree or if you enjoy the intro the way that it is and you don't mind them cutting stuff out of the game and then adding it back on later i, I think they should just stop doing that um it's becoming quite obvious that's what they're doing and i personally would really love to see that that stop happening so i'm gonna leave it at that thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video leave a like on it and i'll see you boys later peace out have a good one